Victoria, I've got a question. Mm, it's very odd posing a question to a state, but... Yeah? You got a problem with that, mate? No, no, it's just, you know, no one really identifies with the state they're from, unless, of course, you're a... Queenslander! That's what I prefer to be referred to as voice. Not an Australian, nothing to be proud of in that. They don't produce as many pineapples as quick. Man, being associated with a house is mad. They're big houses, man. That's why I identify with them. I've always been a subscriber to expansive thinking. Good point, mate, but uh, got an alternative because this is a state election, so just... Just hear me out. How can you possibly trust Labor opposition leader Daniel Andrews? Look at him. So sweaty. He's not even in colour. It'd be like electing Charlie Chaplin to run the state. What a clown. Anyway, this is a man who has repeatedly stated he's going to build the East-West Link. And then, after consulting a wide range of experts who describe the project as not a good choice, having studied the East-West Link several times over the years, I'm convinced it's not needed. It only smudges congestion around a bit, but doesn't really solve it. Oh, don't tell me he's refusing to pay for a $17 billion smudge. Oh, I got in there before I could say it, mate. That's exactly what I'm saying. By refusing to pay for Australia's most expensive smudge, Daniel Andrews is smudging his own name too. Liar. Said he was going to build it and now he's not going to. Just because it's a waste of billions of dollars. It's some pretty primo dirt you dug up, Liberal Victoria. One dot point. Complete opposite to us who originally claimed we wouldn't build the East West Link in 2010. And then when our big business donors said they actually wanted us to build it, we completely backflipped. Even though it's going to cost six billion dollars more than originally anticipated, which you as the taxpayer of course are going to foot the bill. So the corporations we owe favours to can profit off the funds that could have kept tapes and ambulance services running. Which is a bit of a bummer, but you know, those are the breaks, whatever. I don't know which one's worse. A government that allowed corporate interest to plunder a state treasury, or this guy went back on his word just because it benefits me the voter. It's a lesser of two evil scenario isn't it? And all because the facts surrounding the situation called for a change of mind. No sense of adventure at all. Yeah I was going to vote Labor or Greens up until that point but you've captured my imagination Liberal Victoria. Your entire re-election campaign pitch is based off the fact that you're promising to build a single road in Melbourne. How can rural Victoria possibly afford a Labor government? That's a good point, National Party voting no brain. Just an empty skull with skin stretched over the top of it. Yeah, I hide it well. Yeah, you can't tell. Especially when Daniel Andrews wants to divert billions of dollars that were sucked out of your road projects in favour of the East West Link. All because he doesn't think these cool little concrete waves on the side are awesome to look at. Stop prioritising money over my feelings, Andrew. Daniel Andrew seems to think that laws to strengthen child protection and a proposal to instigate a child abuse inquiry are actually important. I mean, we do too, but you know, we were setting priorities and it just so happens that we dumped, dumped those, those tough but fair, sucked in kids. You've got to ask yourself, Victoria, why is Daniel Andrew so obsessed with seeing pedophiles being brought to justice? Is it perhaps because he secretly harbours prejudice against them? Is Daniel Andrews a pedophile bigot? It's your choice, Victoria. If you, like us, somehow see the sanity in voting back a government that's openly bragging and wants to pay back its corporate donors to the point that they're cutting back on basic services like trains and nurses... Less nurses means less cases of nurses being beaten up by ice addicts. It's a good thing. And you don't think it's that important to prevent kids getting beaten and molested across the state? Then please, don't vote Labor. They're Clearly a bunch of Lady Gaga fans is they're nothing but a bunch of little monsters. Clearly not authorised by the Victorian Liberal Party, Melbourne. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.